Recognize the ranking member of the Judiciary Committee, the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Jordan, for his opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I want to uh, thank all our witnesses for being here today and extend our sympathy to Mr. Floyd and Ms. Underwood Jacobs. We are, as the chairman said, all so sorry for your loss and, and for what your families have had to, uh, had to live through and had to endure. Mr. Floyd, the murder of your brother in the custody of the Minneapolis police is a tragedy. It never should have happened. It's as wrong as wrong can be. And your brother's killers will face justice. Ms. Underwood Jacobs, the murder of your brother by the rioters in Oakland is a tragedy. It never should have happened. It's as wrong as wrong can be. And your brother's killers will face justice. There are 330 million people in this great country, the greatest nation ever, not perfect, but the best nation ever. And they understand, they understand, the American people understand it's time for a real discussion, real debate, real solutions about police treatment of African Americans. Americans also understand that peaceful protest, exercising their First Amendment liberties, honors George Floyd's memory, and it helps that discussion, that debate, and those solutions actually happen. The people of this great country, you know what else they understand? You know what else they get? They understand that there is a big difference a big difference between peaceful protest and rioting. There is a big difference between peaceful protest and looting. There is a big difference between peaceful protest and violence and attacking innocent people. And there is certainly a big difference between peaceful protest and killing police officers. You know what else they get? You know what else the American people fully understand? They know, as the chairman said, the vast, vast majority of law enforcement officers are responsible, hardworking, heroic first responders. They're the officers who protect the Capitol, who protect us every single day. They're the officers who rushed into the Twin Towers on 9-11. They're the officers in every one of our neighborhoods, in every one of our communities, every day, every night, every shift they work, who put their lives on the line to keep our communities safe. And guess what Americans also get? Guess what else they understand? They know it is pure insanity to defund the police. And the fact that my Democrat colleagues won't speak out against this crazy policy is just that frightening. Think about what we've heard in the last few weeks. We've heard the mayor of our two, the mayors of our two largest city, Mayor Garcetti said he wants to defund the police. The mayor of New York says he wants to defund the police. The city council in Minneapolis, a veto proof majority says they want to defund the police and abolish the department. This Congress started off with the Democrats, folks on the left saying we should abolish ICE, then move to we should abolish the entire Department of Homeland Security. And now they're talking about abolishing the police. This is wrong and the American people know it's wrong. We should honor the memory of George Floyd and work hard so that nothing like it ever happens again. And we should honor the memory of Dave Patrick Under Underwood and work hard so that nothing like that ever happens again. A week and a half ago, our mission was clearly stated. 11 days ago in Florida, the President of the United States clearly stated what our mission should be. President Trump said this, I stand before you as a friend and ally to every American seeking justice and peace, and I stand before you in firm opposition to anyone exploiting tragedy to loot, rob, attack, and menace. Healing, not hatred, Justice, not chaos, are the mission at hand. Well said, Mr. President. Healing, not hatred. Justice, not chaos. That is our mission. The president is right, and I appreciate his leadership. This is the House Judiciary Committee with its storied history of defending the Constitution and the rule of law. Let's adopt that mission. Healing, not hatred. Justice, not chaos. Let's work together to make America the great place to continue to make America the greatest nation ever. That I yield back, Mr. Chairman.